Hi guys, this is one more simple FOC library demonstration video and this time I'm going to show you the stepper motor support. The setup for this video consists of L298 stepper driver, STM32 nucleo board, the most standard stepper motor NEMA 17 and as a sensor AMT103 capacitive encoder. And I have attached this 3D printed wheel to the output shaft to make the results a bit more visible. Once when the motor and sensor alignment is done, field-oriented control will start. And uh, the first control mode I'm going to show you is the voltage or torque control mode in which I set the voltage to the motor which generates uh, the proportional torque. So the bigger the voltage, the more, more the torque. Additionally, when I change the direction of voltage, you can see that the motor tries to fight me in different directions. And uh, if I let go, the motor is just going to continue spinning uh, freely and uh, is going to spin proportionally fast to the torque that's being generated. Okay, so the next control mode is the velocity control mode, where we can directly control the velocity we want the motor to, con to turn with. So, for example, this is 10 radians per second, minus 10, 10, minus 10. So you can see that the, the motor is quite responsive. It's not really as what you would expect for a stepper motor. And now the most fun part, the position control mode. The motor goes back to zero, and it holds its position. You can move it, but it returns. It's not going to lose any steps, and it's completely back drivable. So uh, this is definitely the, the mode you can see the most benefits of the field-oriented control. And I'm really happy with the results. Okay guys, so by using the field-oriented control, the stepper motors become much more dynamic and they have much better performance. They are completely back drivable and they won't lose steps. They have much, much better energy efficiency and even the stepping noise is gone. So I'm really looking forward to hear your thoughts about this. This is still an early stage of support and there are still probably some problems we need to solve, but I think it's really promising. And I would be really interested to hear about some applications you might have. Thanks a lot for watching.